Hi, my name is Hunter McConnell. I'm a media technology specialist at Tyler High in Tyler, Texas. Today I'd like to show you how to create Google Forms using the Go To section based on Answer feature. The reason I want to show you this is because I use it all the time, or quite a bit, in the middle school math classroom when I used to teach. And it was a great way for me to uh, either teach a concept or reteach it um, and also to help clear up any misconceptions that students might have. So I would start off asking the students a question, and then if they got that question wrong, it would go to a different section of that Google form where they could review that concept and then try again. So let's students basically uh, get comfortable with uh, failing, of course, and also they would immediately get that concept retaught to them and let them try to answer that question again. So uh, I want to go ahead and start you off with creating a Google form. So I just called my form, go to section based on answer. So I have my title here and we want to go ahead and create a multiple choice question. Okay, so I have my questions in my Google form. Uh, it's very important to make sure that your first question is a multiple choice question. So now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have two sections for this particular question. So what color is the sky? So they're gonna either get that question correct or incorrect. And I'm gonna go make one quick change. I'm gonna go ahead and do this question one right here. And this is gonna help me with organization in the end. So after I have my first question, I'm gonna go ahead and click this button over here to add a section. So I'm going to basically say this is question number one, and if they got it incorrect, and just to, instead of saying, you know, this is incorrect, uh, I like to make this a little bit more personal, so something like, nice try, let's try that again. Um, something like that, and then, of course, you're going to then create a new question, either it can be the same question or similar, Question. So I'm just going to do the same one, what color is the sky, and then have those uh, exact same answers. So I, now basically I have a place for them to go if they get it wrong. I need a place for them to go if they get it right. So if they get the question correct, it would say something like uh, question number one, uh, way to go. And then now I'm going to basically have question number two ready here. So now what we're going to do with question number one is we need to now turn on our go to section based on answer. So you're going to do that here at the bottom of your question on the right side. There's three dots. I call it the shish kebab. Some people call it the snowman. Click on that. and You're going to want to choose go to section based on answer. Now what you'll see is to the right of every answer you have this little pop up. So basically what it's asking you to do is to choose a section to go to if they answer the answer red. So they're going to go to the nice try, they got it wrong, and of course if they answer yellow, it's going to go to that same one as well. Now if they answer blue, they got it right, so it's going to take them to section number two, which is the way to go section, which means they got it right. So no matter what they answer, it's going to take them to one of those respective sections, either the they got it right section or they got it wrong section. Now let's talk about if they got it wrong a second time, so question number one, what color is the sky? They get it wrong. They go down here. They have the same exact question. We still need to make sure to turn on, go to section based on answer, and same thing that we just did a second ago, we're going to do it again. Uh, they got it wrong. If they say uh, red or yellow, of course, and blue is the correct answer. So we need to make sure that every single answer has a place for them to go. And then we're just going to repeat that step. So we would ask uh, another question here with question number two, and we would have some answers for that. So I'm going to type in a question, some answers, so that we can practice this one more time. All right, so I've got a quick question. What color is the grass? I've got three multiple choice answers. So same thing here. Now I could end my quiz. This could be the end. So no matter what they answer, basically what they're going to do is they're going to submit. Now there, here's where it gets tricky. This is kind of in the middle. So it says right here, after section number two, continue to next section. Well, this is the last one. So I'd want them to submit the form when they get to this, if it's my last question. If not, you can leave this alone and you can basically add two more sections. So if question number two is what color is the grass, I would need a section for correct and a section for incorrect for question number two. So we're gonna add a quick section and we can just call that question number two, incorrect you'd have basically an option for them to try question number two again here. 
and you also would want to have a section where it's a uh, question to correct. And maybe then now, of course, question number three would go here, and we just repeat the process. So we'd want to make sure on question two that we have the go to section based on answer, and that the correct answer goes to the correct uh, section, and that the incorrect answers go to the incorrect section. And that's basically how you do a go to section based on answer using Google Form. Hope you enjoyed this video.